In this video, I will show you how to install the Luma 3DS using the older sound hacks method. This guide applies to all types of 2DS and 3DS with firmware between 1.0.0 and 11.3.0. Let's get started. To follow this guide, you need to have these items. So the first time you want to hack your 3DS, you need to check if your 3DS does have the Luma 3DS. Press the select and the power button while turning on the console. If you see the Luma 3DS configuration screen, then do not follow this guide. But if it goes directly to the home screen, then let's proceed to the next step. Next, let's open the system settings to find out the firmware version. As you see on the screen, the firmware version is 1.1.0, a US region console, and this is an old 3DS. Now we can close the system settings. Then turn off the console. And remove the SD card from it. Then you need an SD card reader to open the SD card on your computer. If you go to the 3ds.hex.guide, you can read that we need to use the sound hacks method to hack the 3ds because this console's firmware is on 1.1.0. I know some of you might be thinking of downgrading their console to use the sound hacks method, but you must realize that it is not possible to downgrade if you don't hack the console first. So hacking comes first. No hack, no fun. That's the rule of thumb. First, go to the SoundHacks website, select the console's region, type of console, and firmware version that matches the 3DS specs. In my case, I chose USA, old 3DS, firmware 1.x until 2.1, then download the M4A file. Download the SoundHacks all-in-one package from the link in the description. Next, we need to check the SD card file system, so right-click the drive and see its properties. If the file system is FAT32, then you are good to go. But if it is XFAT or something else, then you need to format the drive as FAT32 using GUI format. See the link in the description. Copy the downloaded SoundHex audio file to the root of the SD card. Then open the SoundHex all-in-one package and extract the content into the SD card. Insert the SD card into the console. Then turn it on. Now open the Nintendo 3DS sound. If this is your first time opening the app, you will see the intro screen. Press next then press OK to get into the main screen. Move the cursor down to the SD card and press Open. And play the NetWheel audio file. If everything is OK, you will get into the Safe B9S installer screen. And input the generated combo keys. And press the A button to continue. Then you will see the Luma 3DS configuration screen. Move the cursor down to show name or user string in system settings, press the A button to confirm it, then press the start button to boot the console. You have successfully hacked the console at this step, but it is far from done, because we will need to install the essential webs. Continue to the finalizing setup. Next, we will update the console's firmware. Open the system settings. This console is still on firmware 1.1.0. To get the best of it, we will update the console online. Don't worry, it won't break the console. Make sure you have set up the internet connection previously. Click Other Settings. Click the right arrow until you see the System Update button. Press OK. Then follow the on-screen instruction.
Now press OK to reboot the console. If you see this kind of message, press next, then accept the agreement. Now we will install the essential apps. Open the download play app. Press and hold the L, down, and select button to open the Rosalina menu. If you have broken buttons, watch my other video guide to complete this step. Select miscellaneous options. Choose switch the HB title to the current app. Press B to go back. Then press B again twice to exit the Rosalina menu. Press the home button, then close the download play app. Now reopen the download play app. You will get into the homebrew launcher. This condition is not permanent as we can restore the download play app function after rebooting later. Run the CTR no time offset. Press A to continue. Then press start to get back to the homebrew launcher. Now let's load FBI. Select SD. Enter the CIS folder. Select the current directory. Then choose the second option which is install and delete all CIS. Press any key to continue, press the B button twice, then press the start button to exit FBI. Now press the home button. Close the download play app. And unwrap all the newly installed titles. Next, run the DSP1 app. Then press the B button to continue. Now we will open and set up the homebrew launcher. Again, we will need to press and hold the L, down, and the select button to open the Rosalina menu. Select miscellaneous options. Choose switch the HB title to the HB launcher loader. Press B to go back and save its settings. Again, press B to go back and choose power off. Press the A button to turn off the console. Now press and hold the start button and the power button to open God Mode 9. If you are prompted to create the essential files backup, then press the A button to do so. Press the A button again to continue. Then if you are prompted to set the RTC, then set it up. Press the A button to continue. Now press the home button, then choose scripts. Select GM9 Mega Script. Select scripts from Plylex Guide. Choose Setup Luma 3DS to CTR9. By utilizing this script, you can boot the console without the SD card. Press the A button to continue. Then press the A button to unlock the NAND. Input the given combo keys. Press the A button to continue. Select Cleanup SD Card. This script will delete unused files inside the SD card. Press B to go back, then choose Backup Options. Select SysNAND Backup. Press the A button to begin dumping the console's NAND. Make sure you have at least 1.3GB of space left on the SD card. If your card has insufficient space, you can skip this process and dump the NAND after replacing it with a higher capacity SD card. Press the A button to continue. Press the B button to go back, then select Exit, and press the A button to relock the NAND. Navigate to the end drive, Memory Virtual. Select the boot9.pin file and copy it to the gm 9 out folder. Now we will move the console's NAND to the computer to save the SD card space. Press the home button, then choose Power Off System. 
Remove the SD card from the console. Create a new folder on your computer and name it as you like. Navigate to the GM9 folder, then to the Out folder. Copy or move everything inside this folder to the newly created folder. Insert the SD card into the console and boot it up. Congratulations, you have successfully hacked the 3DS with the sound hacks method. Thanks for watching this lengthy video.